Well, I heard on the grapevine the publishers wanted to call it Gone with the Whinge. Because, um, <laughs> it's all about poor me. I'm such a victim. Oh, no. This is my story. Listen, you know and I know King Charles does not want this book to come out. Exactly. Yeah, and he's already... Uh, uh, Prince Harry's already gone back to try and rehash it. Look, the Queen only died September the 8th. Yeah. And... Already, he's got this book coming out, yeah. and I think it's so ungrateful. I think it's selfish. And for someone who's gone through grief, sadly lost his mother, he should know what grief's about. His poor father is going through grief. The whole family, his brother, mm. to do this book, I think, is quite disgusting. I hoped he would drop it. He's saying it's not for the money. Then what is he doing it for? To, to, to I think, personally, because they want to bring down the monarchy. They want to bring down the whole institution. And this is his way of saying, poor me, why is it called spare? Why is it why called is, spare? Why is it feeling, I mean, you know, because, you know, in, in the Spanish version, yeah. that is in the <clears> shadow, <throat> meaning, you know, poor him. Does he f not forget his own father brought, um, you know, Megan down the aisle, walked her down yeah. the aisle? I mean, it, it might, I mean he, might, they... he might feel like he's in a shadow, but he's in the limelight in a shadow. I mean, he is the, he's a prince, for goodness sake. If you can't even be, you know, thankful for that and not realise how fortunate he is. I just find it a complete whinge fest yet again. I'm not going to buy that. I can't be bothered because it will be the same old thing. Oh, it was terrible. This happened to me. That happened to me. This happened to me. This is what it's like with royal life. And basically, I, I don't think the rest of his family don't want this. I, I, that sounds a bit. I think the reason it's called Spare is because obviously we're, we're quite used to this royal concept of, you know, the royal family wanting an heir and a spare. Mm. And, you know, it'll be about what it's like to be called the spare all the time. Imagine growing up and knowing that you weren't the favourite, that you weren't no, the important but, listen, one. That, 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 I, must listen, have been that quite happened in my life. Him. I was the second child. Well, Nobody sure, wanted me. But, but the point <laughs> is, <laughs> it happens. is he's just, just going to be talking about his oh, life. And I think we should probably just, just judge the book once we've actually read it well, before you can we tell prejudge. I will. He's got a wife. Life, he's, he worships yes. wonderful children. He, he's got his so-called freedom that he so wanted so badly. Lives in a 15, 16 million dollar pad with a guest house, nine bedrooms. You know, this is what you wanted, Harry. So if he's well, got, then if why he's got his freedom, just... why don't you let him finish about his life? No, but it's because his family are grieving and he knows yeah. this is going to cause a massive press frenzy. As soon as this book is, you know, we get snippets of it, it's going to be everywhere. How is that going to be for his father, you know, and for his brother, it's all awful. the members of the family? It's so inconsiderate. Honest. It is selfish, it's ungrateful, and he should be ashamed of himself. Why didn't he stop pointing his royal finger at the royal gravy train, get an identity, do something, you know, you enjoy, and talk about that. Stop going back in the past and, and saying we awful and to. trashing our old, the royal family. <clears throat> if you can't say anything nice about your family, don't say anything at all.